polybath, and I travel around the country helping schools with intervening and managing behaviors so we can really get back to having fun, teaching, and getting some better results from our kids, if you will. Today, I'm answering a middle school question. Here goes. My sixth graders are constantly coming to me with every little problem. Why can't middle school students ever solve their own problems anymore? Good question. Really good question. You know, it brings me to the whole thing around problem solving in general. People learn to solve problems when they have an opportunity to solve problems. So think about this. I think we run interference for kids way too soon. I really do. I think that we run in there to solve their problems. Uh, we don't want to see them, you know, feeling bad, getting their feelings hurt, or, or you know, or, or not liking a situation. So we try to go in there and go, ah, oh, it's okay, it'll be fine, we'll solve that problem for you. We need to stop doing a lot of that and allowing our kids a chance to solve the problem. You know, with younger kids, I, I, I try to really refrain from running interference too soon. With my older kids, I want to empower them to say, solve the problem. You got this. Whatever few words you can think of that might initiate them to feel the power that they can solve this problem is going to be helpful. They are turned to us at every moment because they have learned that if I turn to somebody else to solve the problem for me, it's easy, it's quick, and I don't have to use any of my skills. If we need problem-solving skills, let's teach them. But the bottom line is, give them more opportunities to solve their own problems. It's the only way they're going to get better at it. Thanks for watching today. And if you have uh, questions that you might like to see answered in future videos, put those in the comments below.